Ay. Juan Francisco. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? Doing good? Okay. Good, bad, so so. Good. Good. Excellent. What about you, Juan Francisco? Hello, good evening. Good evening, huh? <laughs> My day was good. Good. It was good. No, no, no. Okay, no complaints. Okay, very good. I think we're going to start. Just give me one second here. Doing something with my computer. Here we are. Okay, it's eight to one. So I think we're going to start with the class right now. Right, to make sure that we work with all of you, okay? Let's start. Ready? Ready. Ready. Very good. Yes. Okay, perfect. So here, right, we're going to work today. Today is going to be more about practice, all the topics that we have seen during the week. Right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a review of all the topics. For this, I have, well, today is class number five. So mm -hmm. we're going to have video conference number cinco, right? Review and practice, right? It's going to be a review and a lot of practice, practice, practice of mm -hmm. uh, the topics that we have seen so far, okay? Now, okay. with this in mind, Right. Yesterday we practiced with the job application, right? Okay. So let's let's try to remember uh, what is the information. Yes, Juan Francisco. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. What is the main task? Task is yeah. homework. For example, yeah. It's task the same homework. Is the same as homework. Yes. But bad task in the class is like I told you, okay, the task is to do something, to do an activity, or to okay. make an activity. Exactly. So the activity is to write a conversation using the elements of a simple interview. Right now, I have five people right now. I have uh, Juan Francisco, Sandra, hello, Sandra Corina. Raul Francisco and Antonio. Antonio, let me see here, give me a moment. Can you please start the, the, the meeting, Antonio? I think you are new. Creo que usted es nuevo, Antonio. Tiene que entrar a la videoconferencia. Si me puede escuchar con su nombre completo, por favor. Okay. Now, with that being said, Right, we will continue working here with one second with the practice. I would like to listen uh, to you, right, with some practice here with the interviews that we can make. Right, we're going to have two people just asking the questions that you have in the application. Right, you have a job application. Do you remember the job mm -hmm. application? Yeah. Yes? Okay, very yeah. good. If you remember the job application, right, what's the information that you have in the in the job application? Let's start with uh, Sulma. Okay. Uh, what is your name? Okay, no, but you're not going to ask, ask to me, Sulma. You are going to tell us the information in the job application. Do you remember? Yeah, do you remember this? From my partners. Exactly, very good, for your partners. For okay. example, let's suppose I interview uh, Corina, and so I will say, uh, name Sandra Corina, right? Address, her address is, right? her name is, her phone number is, 
but yeah. some information only, right? Okay. Not everything, just some details. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay. My my partner uh, was Mayra Noemi. Okay. Okay. Um, your um, he born in Chalatenango. She was born. He was born in Chalatenango. Um, okay. He uh, his birth date is um March twenty. March twenty. Okay. Uh, your address is uh, Colonia La Merced, number three, San, San Salvador. Okay. Uh, your ID number is? My ID number or her ID number? Her ID number. Okay. <laughs> okay, is 00? Zero, 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 zero. Three, five. Four two zero one zero one. Okay, very good. Right, very good. And her name is um, Mayra Noemi Cardoza. Mayra Noemi Cardoza. Okay, her name is Mayra Noemi Cardoza. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, um, she has a uh, uh, driver license. Okay, so here it will be yes. Yes. Right. Your phone number is uh, seven one. Okay. Four eight zero zero uh, dash dash zero zero. Nine one. Nine one. Okay, very good. Give an applause to Sulma. Very good. That's some like that's one example on how to share the information. Okay, very good. Right now, let's see who else finished the this job application, right? But now we're going to share the second part of the job application. Right. Do you have your job applications there? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, very good. So since you have your job application there, we're going to share right now the second part, which is this. You're going to give me one, one line, right? one piece of information, right? Let's see, who wants to participate? I have Esther, Edwin, Maria de Jesus, Osmin, Raul Francisco, Antonio, Sandra Veronica. Who wants to participate? Just one line here. Teacher. Yes, go this ahead. Is the information we work Your classmate. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 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 Let's go, Melvin. Okay, let me, let me see my, my PDF. Okay. Um, I was work. Uh, I was interview um, Fatima himself. Okay, tell us the information about Fatima. Okay. Okay. Um, information about Fatima. Dates of uh, employment in mm -hmm. two thousand nineteen. Okay. She worked at High Stick, the Central America. How do you spell that? H I S T I C K. High stick. High stick? Yes. Yes. The Central America. Okay. Uh, the company is located in Antiguo Cuscatlan. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very and good. her job title was store manager. A store or manager. Or store manager. Is a store manager. Yeah, is a store manager. Uh, thanks. Okay. Is a store manager. And we don't talk about that. You didn't talk about the duties. Okay. No. Okay. No. We're going to level like that. Okay, good. 
Now, who wants to share another piece of information for another classmate? Okay. Me take okay. information about Alan. Alan, okay. Okay. Um, application for employment, mm -hmm. uh, day July 30. Uh, Possession, uh, the... But this part, we're sharing, Corina, we're sharing this information. Information. This one. Uh, Employment about... history. Alan, okay. <laughs> Employment history. Employment history, okay. Possession manager, mm -hmm. uh, Ney Alan Javier Ardon, address resident, residential five, uh, colonial um, in La Libertad. Okay. Uh, uh, number four. You? Is, are you sharing this information? This? Dates of employment, name of, of the company? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Alcaldía de San Juan Opico. Okay. And, um, excuse me, they employment in 2000, 2008. Okay, 2008. Eight, eight, oh, they employer. Okay, 2008. Okay. 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 Others, uh, San Juan Opico. San Juan Opico, okay, very good. Job title? The title of oh, no tengo. Ask him. Okay. Ask Alan. 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 <laughs> I, I was my job title was a basketball coach. Basketball. Oh, basketball coach. Okay. Human. Okay. Basketball coach. And what were the duties? No. No duties. Alan? No. So asking Alan, what were your duties? Okay, ask Alan, what were your duties? Your duties. Alan? He left. That's your duties. Okay. He doesn't Education. have a microphone. He doesn't have the microphone. Okay, Alan. Put your microphone on. No, it's not sorry, there. I, I am on the computer, sorry. <laughs> but now I, I am always working on and the at the at my cell phone, but my duties there were uh, working with kids, uh, be responsible, be on point on don't on time. Right. On time. Be on time. Uh, doing the doing the practices, right? Okay. And uh, take care uh, and take care of the the material. The, okay. What else? Uh, um, make plans. Make plans for what? Make me plans from from my from my, from my training. Make plans for for okay for his trainings. Okay, very good. Okay. Continued education. Okay. Uh, school. Uh, college uh, Champagnac. Day thousand two. Okay. Alan, did you study at Colegio Champagnat in 2002? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, school, school, bachillerato, school. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I do. Only, only that teacher. Okay, very good. Give an applause to Corina and to Alan. Very good, very good. Now, if you see, these are just, you know, some examples on how to share the information for a job application, right? Remember the questions that you can make. Um, Esther, what is the question that you can ask if you want to know somebody's name? What is your full name? 
Very good. What is the question, Edwin, that you are going to ask if you want to know, uh, for example, the ID number? Uh, what is your ID number? Very good. What's your ID number? Very good. Mm -hmm. Melvin, what, what are you going to ask if you want to know about education? Oh, please tell me your um, degree. Okay. I, I forgot. <laughs> Okay. Your your degree that you obtain. Okay, very good. Tell me, right? Tell me the degree you have. For example, if you want to oh. make it simple, or you have, or you have obtained. Okay, let me show you here. Right, that's what you have in the chat. Like what, what would you ask Osmin if you want to ask, for example, the date of birth? The date of birth. Mm -hmm. What is the question? Osmin? <clears throat> Okay, what is the question that you will ask when you want to know someone's date of birth? Um, day of birth. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, that's okay. When will you go? Choose a comodín. Choose a person that's going to help you. Choose someone. Will be, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, very good. That's a good question. How old are you? Very good. What could be another way of asking that? Besides, is, how old are you? You want to know? What is your birthday? What's when your is, birthday? Very good. When is your birthday? When, when is your birthday? Right. When is your birthday? Okay. But when you ask, when is your birthday? Right. You are just asking for the date. So I will say, my birthday is July 1st. July 1st. You, you are. For example, yeah. right, July 1st. But you want to know the date of birth. What are the elements on the date of birth? Year, month, month year. right? And, and the day, date. And, and the date, right. Exactly. Okay. What, what would be an... Your... I want to know the date of birth. Edwin, Melvin, Maria. What's the question? Date of birth. When you born? When were you born? Very good. Very good. That's another way. When were you born, Raúl? Uh, what? Where is your age? What's your age? Okay, very good. But if you ask me, what's your age, Sylvia? I would say 35. That's it. Okay. That's the, that's the answer. You are not oh. getting the date of birth. You oh, need to what, year, what year do you born? What year were you, were you born? Okay, that's another question. Where, what is? Sulma? What were you born? Okay, well, but you can ask what only what? what is the day of birth? Very good, just simple. What's your day of birth? Right, and here we're going to put here date of birth so we give the whole information. Right, what's your date of birth? Oh, my date of birth is. July 1st, 1985, for example, right? Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, let's continue here. Let's continue practicing. We are going to watch a video today because today is about practicing all the topics that we have seen during the week, right? Do you see my computer? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. What about now? Yes. Okay, very good. 
go. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to watch the first part of a video, right? This video is about education, right? And jobs, right? So what we're going to do is to see, to start talking about your job, right? Where do you work? Very simple and in English, right? Now, we're going to watch this. Please take note, we're going to watch the first two minutes and then we're going to stop, okay? Now, are you ready? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let me see, someone is talking. September 21st. Thank you, Ellington. <laughs> now, <laughs> now we're going to see here, right, the video. Let me know if you listen. Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome to Oxford Online English. Did you yes. listen to that? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay, very good. I'm going to put, very good. I'm going to put everyone on mute. A todo lo voy a silenciar en este momento. Okay? Because we need to watch that video. Okay. Let's do this. And let's start. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Oxford Online English. In this lesson, you can learn how to talk about your job. Please put yourself on mute. Job in English. Where do you work? What do you have to do in your job? What kind of company do you work for? In this class, you can learn how to answer questions like this in clear, detailed English. Ready? Let's start. Part one, introducing your job. I'm a, I work in, I work for. How would you complete these sentences? You could say something like, I'm a writer. I work in online education. I work for a publishing company. I work in is used with a field, meaning a type of work. So you can say things like, I work in finance. I work in digital marketing. You can also use work in with a place or a department of a company. For example, I work in the HR department of a financial firm. I work in a school teaching modern languages. Confused? You can see that if you use work in to talk about the type of work you do, you don't use an article like a or the. If you use an article, a or the, after work in, it means you're talking about the place or department where you work. I work for is used with a company. So you could say, I'm a salesman. I work for a mobile phone company. I work for a law firm based in Frankfurt. Or even, I run my own business, so I work for myself. What can you say? Can you make sentences like this to say something about your job? Pause the video and try. Okay. Now, did you get what he's explaining right now? We're going to do this very simple. There are some differences, right? When we say I work in, right? Or I work right in a place or a department. Now we are going to watch the video one more time, but take note because we're going to do the same exercise. Is that clear? Yes? Okay, let's watch one, one more time. Hi, I'm Mike and welcome to Oxford Online English. In this lesson, you can learn how to talk about your job in English. Where do you work? What do you have to do in your job? What kind of company do you work for? In this class, you can learn how to answer questions like this in clear, detailed English. Ready? Let's start. Part one, introducing your job. I'm a, I work in, I work for. How would you complete these sentences? You could say something like, I'm a writer. 
I work in online education. I work for a publishing company. I work in is used with a field, meaning a type of work. So you can say things like, I work in finance. I work in digital marketing. You can also use work in with a place or a department of a company. For example, I work in the HR department of a financial firm. I work in a school teaching modern languages. Confused? You can see that if you use work in to talk about the type of work you do, you don't use an article like a or the. If you use an article, a or the, after work in, it means you're talking about the place or department where you work. I work for is used with a company. So you could say, I'm a salesman. I work for a mobile phone company. I work for a law firm based in Frankfurt. Or even, I run my own business, so I work for myself. What can you say? Can you make sentences like this to say something about your job? Pause the video and try and make a sentence. Say it aloud. Okay, very good. So let's start sharing. We're going to see right now the examples that he is using. <laughs> okay, give me one moment. Can you see my computer? No? Oh, no. Okay. What about now? Yes. Okay, very good. Now we're going to see the first yes. example. Look at this. We have here right, the first part. When we say I work in plus a field, what would be a field that we we have seen in this class? For example, he says, I work in finance. That can be an answer that, for example, Ada can get, right? Ada works in finance. She works for Banco Promerica, right? So what would be another example that you can give about this? Right? A field is the area that you control. For example, I can say, in my case, I work in teaching, right? That's mine. I work in teaching. What would be yours? What would be yours? Nobody? Yeah. Let's I try. Administration department. Okay, that, that's the next one. That's the next one, Sulma. But look at this. What, what is your area of work? For example, mine is teaching. Right? Mine is teaching. Field. I work in sales teacher. Okay, very good. Very good. I work in sales. Okay. Sales. Okay. Give me a moment here. I work in sales. Okay, very good. What would be the other one you said, yes? I Sulma? Administration. I work, okay, in administration. Very good. Right. What would be another one? These are areas. We can say Ada works in finance. Teacher, it's okay to say I work in education. Very good. Very good. Maria works in education. And teacher, what could be my area? Because I'm a driver and I don't know what could be my area. Very easy. Edwin works in transportation. Uh, right? Transportation. Ah, you see? These, these are your areas, like the big, big thing, right? Like the big circle that we have, right? What could be yours? What? Thank you. You're welcome. What could be yours in this case? Let's see here another person. Um, 
in work in publishing. Okay. As okay. a carpenter video. Okay, I work in publishing. Very good. Publishing. Okay, very good. Right, and then we continue giving information about you and the area that you actually work for. Right? Very good. Do we understand these examples? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Very good. So now we are going to see the other examples that we have here. Right? Look at this. Now, right? We can see the examples that he's given us, right? This is place or department. Place or department. That's what we want to say, right? So place. how could we give an example with place or department, right? That's what we need to give. In my case, yes? I don't see your computer. You don't see it? It's all the... Pantalla, no sé, sale algo, creo que de la. Your de personal Zoom. meeting, yes. What about now? No? A todos. No. Mm. Give me a moment. What about now? Yes. yes. Como okay. que se le volvió a arreglar el PowerPoint. Uh -huh. La pobreza, ni. Ok. Give me a sec. <laughs> Give me one second. Place department. Okay, one moment, one moment. This is live, like in Canal 2, so give me a sec. Almost, almost. Almost, almost, yes. <clears throat> okay, there we are. Okay, what about now? Can you see my computer now? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, very good. Yes. Yes. Now let's let's see the next example, right? When we are talking about, I work in place plus department. Let's see. I work. Okay, Maria de Jesus, I understand. Thank you. So in this case, right, I work in, right, plus a place in a department, right? It can be one, the other, or both, right? Place plus department or just one. Right? So what can I say here? And look at the example. It says, I work in the HR department of a financial firm. What would be your own example? I will give you mine, right? My, exam my example would be the following, right? I work in, right, the English department of English Corporativo, right? That would be my example. I work in the English department of English Corporativo. That would be mine. What would be yours? Teacher, I work in the, the education of the school. Champagne at school. In the education? Okay, very good. But in, in this case, we will need to use the word department. In the education department of Champagne. I don't know how to write that name. Champagne. M M M. No. I think. I don't know. P it's cool. A G. It's here. P A G. P A G. Uh -huh. okay. P A G. The word. Right? On my, on my, no. On my cam. Supongamos que así se escribe, right? Champagne <laughs> <High> School. <laughs> Champagne. Champagne. Champagne School. Okay, very good, Maria. 
that would be an example, right? I work in the education department of Champagnat School. Very good. What would be another example? Let's listen to Carla, Carla Gabriel. I work in QA department of uh, a bank, no sé. Of? I work in... Which bank? What's the name of the bank? I work in... Banco Agricola. Of? Okay. Agricola Bank. Okay, very good. So those are examples that we're going to make right now. And if you see, they are very easy, right, to complete. I we just need to follow the example. I work in English so, Department of English Cooperative. Yes. So we need to just, based on the example, we're going to write our own I examples work. with I our work. personal information. Right? That's what we need to do. What, what would be yours, Corina? I, I work administration. I work in. I, I work, work in administration. Yeah. Department mm -hmm. of um, I work administration in the University of the Salvador. Of okay, El Salvador University. Okay. Very good. So this is what we have, right? These are some examples that you can use. Write your examples, please. Right. Write the examples. Let me let me put these examples on the chat. Give me one second. University. Okay, aquí está. I or I or the administration. It doesn't work like this. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and share right now the second part. Right, the second part here. We're going to start with Edwin. The parliament. Okay. Edwin, look at the example here with I work for, right? Um, I work for. Um, Transportation, know, department, department of transportation, Edwin. No, bus transportation is because I don't know how how to you explain to you guys that I work with the family, and I'm a driver for the family. I'm something like the, the security of the family. I don't know if you guys understand when you see uh, important people and I take care of the people. I, I don't know. You are, I, I you are a security guard. I, I am a security I'm a security guard. How do you say that? I'm a security guard. I don't know how to say it in English. Axis, Axis. I am, I am the Matatán. <laughs> El Cholo. I am the Pan Pan Man. Yes. Personal security. I, that's one way to, to say that. Edwin, Edwin, do you have a gun? Gun? Bang Bang. No. Bodyguard. I can okay. hear you guys, but do you have a, a, a gun? How do you say bodyguard? Bodyguard. Bodyguard yes, is that you have. protect. So this is this is where you are. And with yes, personal security. Okay. Or bodyguard. Right? Okay. Very good. So bodyguard. That's the that's the word. Bodyguard. Okay, so let's share here. Edwin, what would be mm. your example? Uh, so I work in a bodyguard comp uh, company. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know, it could be like this. Yeah, go ahead, I work. But look at the mm -hmm. example, look at the example. Okay, I work in a bodyguard company. 
at um, secure people. Fuck. I don't know. It's kind of weird. We, why? I I will. Look at what you're going to oh, say. Yeah. Pay attention. I work exactly, Maria. I work for a family, right? Right? I work, mm -hmm. right? You can say here, I am, I am, right? I am a bodyguard. Uh -huh. I work for a family, right? Or mm -hmm. you can say also, I work for a security company. You see? Very simple. Right? This could be your okay. description. Of course, you can add more information. Right? So this is what we're going to do right now. We are going to share with our classmates. You're going okay. to share with your classmates right now. Everyone, all of you, are going to share the same examples that this guy is giving us here. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is that you're going to share the information and we are going to pay attention to the words in, for, right? Because they are very important to explain the things in English. They are very small words, but they are very important too, right? So it's important that we use them correctly. So now, this is what we're going to do, right? We are going to share right now this is another way for a mobile phone to share this. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Do you have the examples there on your on your on your notebook? I work in, I work for. Yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Only Veronica? Yes. yes. You too, Edwin? Okay. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Jose Rene, yes. please turn on your camera. Now. No, yes, I, I, yeah. I yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Always put your cameras on, people. It's very important. Now we're going to work in groups right now. We're going to group working groups of three. Are you going to work with three people? So we can share the information that we have. Okay. Let's see here. Give me one moment. There we are. <coughs> Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Let's just start. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Edwin, Osmin, let's go to the groups. Antonio, let's go to the group. Edwin, Antonio. Edwin? Edwin? Edwin, are you there?
Uh -huh. Ajá. Y eh, the place of or the field of the company. And I work off is the other. Eh, ¿Y eso lo tengo que, que hacer acá como tarea o ahorita lo tengo? Right no, ahorita. Now. Ahorita. Uh, right now. Uh -huh. Right now, right now, esto es ahorita. Voy entrando, teacher. No. No tengo los <risa> Practice. No tengo la información. Practice, practice. You need to practice. Juan, you need to practice a lot. Okay? It's very important that you practice. Aunque se equivoque, no importa. You need to practice. Okay? Okay. I yes. have a question. Yes. In I work off, in my case, uh, I work off um, Agricola Bank. I work for? Uh, I work for Agricola Bank. Mm -hmm. And then I had to uh, say more information about my, my task or Right now, no. Right now, just we're just describing the company. For example, ah. in my case, I would say I am a teacher, oh, right? Company. I work in English teaching, right? I work for, I work for English corporativo, right? Or I can say I work for the English uh, or for the INSA for department of English corporativo, right? Okay. So I give just three sentences with my information, right? Very simple, company. but three sentences that are going to be perfect, right? Now, where do you work? Let's ask Juan, Juan, uh, Juan. I'm sorry. No sé por qué le dije Juan. José, José René. Disculpe, que le estoy diciendo Juan. José René. Eh, Corina, eh, Carla, let's help José René, okay? Jose mm -hmm. René, where do you work? Where, where, excuse me, teacher, no le, no le escuché bien. Where do you work? Eh, where do you work? Eh, okay. Listen, listen to Carla and listen to Karina, or to Corina. Okay. okay, Carla, where do you work? I work bank, Agricola Bank. In Agricola Bank. Okay. I work in Agricola Bank. Corina, okay. where do you work? I, wo I work in University of El Salvador. Very good. Jose René, where do you work? I work in this track. Very good, you see? Simple, right? Okay. Very simple. Now, you need to ask more information. You can also say, Jose René, I work for in the name of the company. Mm -hmm. well, work for, I, 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 me pregunta, eh, la primera era donde trabajo, o de, o de qué trabajo. De qué trabaja, exactly. In, ah, okay. in, in which Depend. place? And in now, yeah. in English, in English, I'm gonna say this in Spanish. In English, hay diversa forma de decir la misma cosa. Right? Okay. So we're trying to do the same. If I ask you, where do you work? You can say, I work in English Corporativo. Or you can say, I work for English Corporativo. Right? Okay. What we do now. Exactly. Or, 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 I work it's, for it's, the empresa. Exactly. The place. We just the say place. the place. The company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I work for university. Okay. Very good. Keep practicing. Practice with you three. Practiquen entre ustedes, ¿ok? Very okay. good. Es el propósito del grupo que practiquen entre ustedes. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Ok. Network. 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 De okay. computer. Computer. De computer. Computers. So you resolve different issues to your customers. Yeah. Ok, that's, that's great. Then I'm so bad in computers. You can help me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay. Yes, because if 
the computer is in work right now. I don't know what what, what can I do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that that's a that's a good point that we have two uh two two co partners that they know how to fix a computer. That's actually yeah. a good point. <laughs> Yeah, okay. thank you. I can help you. Okay, uh, what else do you um, do in your work um, about um, about technical support? Because I know you give technical support to your customers, but actually, you, do you have another um, another team that you do? Uh, another? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes. Another uh, duty. Another uh, duty. Another duty. I, yes, exactly. Thank you, teacher. I, I am teach. I teach. Uh, y junio. Yo ya estoy aburrido ya. Ya terminamos, teacher. You finished? The attendance. Vámonos, la asistencia, niños. A las 8.50. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Zulma, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Siempre la hay haciendo algo. Cuando los perros, que si no, no podía entrar a la... Ok. Let's go. Let's go with everyone. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Okay, we're gonna do a small break because we need to pass the attendance. I need to say your name, so you're gonna say presente or I'm here or whatever, okay? Esther Maricela Orellana Maradiaga. I'm here. Raul Francisco Marquez Arqueta. Present. Okay. Sandra Verónica Herrera Vanegas. I'm here. Ada Lilian Hernández de Salmerón. Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Present. Uh, Elinton Antonio Fuentes Reyes. Present. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. Aquí estoy. <laughs> Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Present. José René Abre Urbano. Presente. Eh, Sergio Alexander Martínez Nieto. Miguel Orlando Morales Baños. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Mayra Noemí Cardosa. José Antonio Renderos Alfaro. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Juan Patricia Donis Colato. Zulma Patricia. Present. Thank you. Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Sandra Corina Miranda Amaya. Present. And Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Very good. Oh, we have several people that have not come today. Okay. Very good. Now, let's continue working here. Wait. With the information we have. Can you share some of the examples? What was the information that you got for you, for yourself? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a, I'm a basketball coach. Okay. Um, I work in the sports department of the school. Okay. And I work for um, and or jumping in the school. Very good, very good. Very simple, right? Very, very simple. Let's see another person. Okay. 
Choose one person, Alan. Eh, Carla Gabriel. Carla Gabriel, okay, very good. Let's see, Carla Gabriel. I am a, I work in, or I work for. Eh, I am a testing analyst. I work in a technology department, and I work for Agricola Bank. Very good, that's great, perfect, perfect. Choose another person, Carla. Eh, Zulma. <laughs> Zulma, Zulma, are you there? Hi. 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 <laughs> I am a uh, administration and lawyer. Okay. I work I work in um, administration and legal department. I work I work for Nold Inversiones. Okay, very good. That's perfect, Sulma. Very nice. And the last person, volunteer? Me. Okay, go for it. Okay. I am business administration. I work in administration department, the central office. I work for University of El Salvador. Very good, perfect, right? Just remember here, Corina, I am a business I, administrator. I am I, a. Ah, okay, I am Business a. administrator, very good, okay. very good. Business administration. Good, do you have a question about this activity right now? No. No? Okay, very good. Now let's continue here. You see, these are the examples that you gave, very easy examples, right? And then we're going to work with this. There is a reading activity on your book, right here. Let's go to page 17. Let's go to page 17 on your book. In this page 17, right, we have a reading, but it's like too long, right? Very, very long. This reading is about a perfect manager, right? A perfect manager is like, uh, for example, Maria, Maria de Jesus, she's a manager, like the principal, right? So she's the manager of a lot of teachers, right? Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to read the article, right? But the article is divided in five paragraphs, as you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, okay? And we are like 15 people, okay? like 15 people. So I'm going to give you group numbers, right? And each group is going to have, you are going to read just one paragraph. Is that clear? For example, group number one is mm -hmm. going to read Paragraph number one. Be a people person. Be a people person. Very good, Corina. Group number yeah. two is going to read paragraph number two. Be a good communicator. And after that, you are going to, you know, share the information about that paragraph. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes? No. Yeah. yes? Do you have a question? I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. We are going to make five groups. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are going to make five groups. Each group is going to have three people. Right? For example, group number one, Melvin, Corina, and Sulma. And you are going to have paragraph number one. one. Group number two, Esther, Alan, and Maria. Paragraph number two. Right? Be a good communicator, for example, right? That's what we're going to do right now. Ah. You are going to read <laughs> an example. You are going to read just that specific paragraph, okay? Only read, teacher. Only read. Only read. But once okay. you finish... Okay. Three people. Yes. Three people. Yes, but once you finish, you are going to share with everyone because you are not reading the whole paragraph. So you need to say... For example, Corina is going to say, okay, paragraph number one is about be a people person, and this is this, this, this. Very simple, right? You are going to give the information. You're going to present the information for paragraph one. Is that clear? 
Yes? Sure. Okay. Let's question. start. Yes. What's your question? Uh, in this in this mm -hmm. group, uh, one by one, we got a real... This you will decide. Group. You will decide. Because you need to decide what you're going to do with the paragraph. After you finish your reading, you need to explain. Right? So if you want to read one by one, it's okay. okay. You are going to have five minutes to read the paragraph. Okay? And then I'm going to select okay. just one person. And for example, they say Corina, eh, Zulma, and Raul are group number one, for example. Right? I will say, Raul, give the information about paragraph one. And he is going to explain. Okay? In simple words, of course. Right? In simple words. So let's start. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. We're going to work in groups of three. And we're going to work with the same people. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you right now the information, okay? Group number one is going to be Jose René, Carla Gabriel, and Sandra Corina. Paragraph number one. Group number two, Esther Maricela, Osmin, and Zulma. Paragraph number two. Group number three, Edwin, Ellington, and Raúl. Paragraph number three. Group number four, Antonio, Juan Francisco, and Sandra Veronica. Paragraph four. And group number five, Ana Javier, Maria de Jesus, and Melvin Alexander. Paragraph number five. Okay? Very good. So let's start. Let's start. Let's join the groups and let's read one paragraph. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Explain in the 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 paragraph. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Do you have questions? Yeah. Do you have questions? Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it real? Uh, e and then oh. you are going to explain. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> the, the art. Uh, uh, explain the art. It's just a paragraph. Yes. A paragraph. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. paragraph. Only paragraph number one. one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Read Carly. Um, be a people person. Okay. North South is people and we are looking for managers who like people. Um, ay, no, quiero ver, voy a seguir aquí. No. <laughs> you should be comfortable with conflict. Comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable with conflict resolution. Es como retroalimentación. Uh -huh. Feedback, exactly, exactly, very good. Okay, uh, I'm, um, now I'm read. You start, and then just uh, there of me, and, okay. and then we stop. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods. Include, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. Norso are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call the... the 
Char, I don't know. Yeah. Would you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strangest strangest and methods for use for success? Success. Have, but success. Success. Yes. Success. And no having what is happy fit for the match of the penguins. Penguins does Ooh. not quali qualify. Qualify. You ask technically proficient in Linux. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that is the, 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 the movie Happy Feet. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Happy Feet for the match of the penguins. Does not yeah, but, uh, let me let me let me help you with. Things. Guys, let me help you with the pronunciation, okay? Okay. Okay. So let's pay attention here. He said you're in paragraph number three, right? Be technically yes. technically proficient. Technically proficient. The mm. products so technically. Technically proficient. The products we create at Nurse are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And no, having watched Happy Fit or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Right? Okay, very good. Let me listen to one of you who wants to try. One. I will try. Okay, Edwin. Okay, be a uh, technically proficient. The products that we create at Noxer are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success and not having watch Happy Feet or the March on the Penguins does not qualify you as a technically profession in Lionel. Very good, very good. Now let's practice. Complicated, complicated. 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 Success. The other one is success. Technical, success. Success. Very good, success. Success. Right? Very good. Success. So keep practicing. Now you're going to explain what the paragraph is about. What is the information that you remember? Right? What are the adjectives to be a perfect manager? You're going to tell me. Okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, good. I'll see you in a moment. Practice, practice. behind. We have, we have no. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish we, reading? Yes. yes. What is we, the part? What is the paragraph four about? Tell me. Don't read it. Tell me. Number four. Mm -hmm. Tell me. What is it about? Explain. Okay. Be, uh, but we don't understand. To hide behind. Behind. No, to hide behind. Oh, yes, it's... we have no door at no store for you to hide behind. Okay, hide is for example like this. Ah, esconderse. Exactly. Esconderse. I am I am hiding behind the book. Ah, como detrás, algo así. Exactly. Right? Okay. But I'm hiding. Okay, very good. That's what uh, I'm doing. But, but uh -huh. behind of what? In fact, or not sure. But, see, we have no door at dogs for you to hide behind. Ah, esconderse tras las puertas. Exactly, very good. So it means, it means that the company is open. The manager yes. is open. Right? So he doesn't hide behind the doors. Right? Very good. You see? 
Excellent. Okay. How do you say encourage or encourage? Oh, it's encourage. 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 It's for example when I tell you, guys, practice, practice English. That's encouragement. You can do it. Make mistakes. Right? That's encouragement. Right? Or for example, when you go Como and alentar. watch exactly. Alentar. Very good. Motivate people, right? Motivate okay. people. Very good. Okay. Another question? Require. 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 Very good. What is the fact? Fact. Oh, a fact is something that is real, right? Let me see here. In fact, like, in fact, it's like saying, um, this is real, right? Right. Or for say, for example, I can say, in fact, my students are practicing right now. Right. It's like giving, giving um, evidence, giving information about something, but with evidence. Right. Like saying the hecho or. Por hecho, es el que explicar, right? In fact, right? Okay, very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, um, uh, North South is the play. North South is the place. It's a company. A company. Okay. <laughs> okay. Any so, no more questions. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the group. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Hello. Are we ready? Yes. Did you read? Yes. So, so? Okay. So group number one, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let's just start sharing the information that we know right, for this activity. Okay, group number one, it says here, be a people person. Who is, who is going to explain? We have Corina, uh, we have also Carla, and I think Jose Ernesto. René. Uh, Jose René, Jose René. Who's going to explain? Okay, Carla. <laughs> Carla. Be a people person, what is this about? Uh, I think, uh, North Shore is search people like uh, other people because oh. uh, North Shore think uh, is better work with other people and they mm -hmm. they feel comfortable and when have some conflicts. Very and, good. Huh? And? And if people they, work. they work, no, if they prefer computer, uh, they think. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's not a good fit for our team. For the team, okay, very good. Give her an applause, very good, very good job. Now this is be a people person, someone who communicates with others, someone who works with other people, right? If you're like shy, that you don't like to talk to people, then you are not a people person, right? 
Very good. Can you please read the paragraph for us? Uh, René, read the paragraph. North, north South. Uh, north South is people and we are looking for manager who like people you should be comfort, comfort comfortable table. Comfortable? comfortable with conflict the solution should know how people were and knew how to uh, motivate 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 very good motivate your team if you are better with computers that people in uh, understand teacher Understand, 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 lingo. understand lingo better that English you are not a good fit for our for manager uh, your general team. Okay, very good, Rene, very good, very good. Now let's go to group number two. Who was in group number two? Be good at communicating. Who was in group number two? Esther. Esther. Osmin y Zulma. Okay, Esther, Osmin, and Zulma. Let's see. Mm, Osmin, what is this paragraph about? Be a good communicator. Uh, in this paragraph, uh -huh. uh, Talk about uh, a good communicator. Mm -hmm. uh, a people uh, when is a good communicator using all methods, uh, for example, visual presentation and public speaking, uh -huh. email or teleconferencing and face to face. Uh -huh. um, explain, don't read, explain. Eh, se me olvidó. <laughs> okay. What else? Provide start information when Sky. Eh, the the is necessary a good uh, communication between employees and upper management manage management. Uh -huh. eh, yeah, yeah and customers, and uh, only that. Only that, okay, very good. Give him an applause, very good. Don't fall asleep, Maria, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now let's continue. Uh, Esther, can you, please, uh, can you please read the paragraph quickly? Okay, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provide a status information when asked. When asked, very good. So it's a person who likes to talk, right? Very good. When you talk face to face to others, when you're always sending emails, using WhatsApp, using Zoom to communicate with others, right? That's when you are a good communicator, very good. Group number three, Edwin, Ellington, and Raul, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, Ellington, what is be technically proficient? What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning? Mm -hmm. um, for the program, the problem and for the system, for the, the technical complicate for the product or system. Okay, what else? Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Raul is going to help you. Raul. Uh, okay, Jake. Uh, the paragraph told about uh, uh, they create a, a, an application, application. Uh, but they have a problem. And uh -huh. to solve the problem, they don't need to, to able the code in C sharp. Mm -hmm. C sharp is a program programming language uh -huh. in the computer. And but the people to solve the problem only need to ch should be, be able the the technical guidance. Mm -hmm. And, and people decide a better strategy. Or for medals for success. For success. Okay, very good, Raul. Very good, Raul. Very good. So in this case, look at the picture, right? You see that they are using computers. Be technical proficient means that you know how to use at least computers, right? You know how to use a projector. You know how to use a program, for example, Excel. PowerPoint, Linux, right? Those are the things that you need to use to be technically proficient. You don't have to be a master, but to be able to communicate with others. Okay, now, can you please read the paragraph, Edwin? Okay, uh, be technically proficient. The products that we create at Northsot are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C number, but you sh should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And not having watch Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as a technical profession in Linux. Very good, very good pronunciation. Great job. Right. Thank so, you. You're welcome. So let's see here, let's move to group number four, encourage teamwork. Who's in group number four? I think it was Veronica and Juan Francisco. Yes. Okay, so let's see Juan Francisco. What is the, this paragraph about? Uh, can you repeat please? Yes, explain the paragraph. Okay, I understand in this paragraph that not only are required to encourage the best practice for building a teamwork, it's necessary to consider other things in your employees. Mm -hmm. uh, in the company, they, they are not have doors for hide behind for managers. Uh, it's, necessary, it's necessary to consider uh, qualities. Como can, okay, qualities? How do you say qualities? Or characteristics? Characteristics? And characteristics for, the, mm -hmm. for the other characteristics for in the employees. Okay. For, or create the best teamwork. To create the best teamwork. Okay, very good, Francisco. Very good. Sandra, can you please read this quickly? Of course. Encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important and not so. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for the building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. Mm -hmm. Behind, hide behind. Mm -hmm. you, listen? you listen? Right now, yes. Okay, thanks. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Okay, very good. You are required to work with all the people, like you are the same, right? You don't have managers, you, well, you have managers, but the managers are, they always work as a team. Okay, very good. And the last one, lead by example. 
By the way, I don't agree with this, but that's what the book says, okay? So let's see, lead by example. Who's in group number five? It was Alan. Alan. Melvin, Very good. Melvin and me. Mm, okay, Alan, Melvin and you. Let's see, Alan, explain. Uh, lead by example means uh, that you need to be a leader, not a boss. That okay. you need that you need to do the do the things that you wanna your employees doing too. Uh -oh. So it's it's to be a great a great a great image, you know. Uh, as the way that you are dressed, you need to be a good, a good uh, example for them. And you need to be a good example of doing the right thing, uh, sacrificing uh, your time, your, your way that you do, do the things for okay. the company. For the company. Very good, Alan, very good. And who wants to read, Maria or Melvin? Um, Melvin, Melvin. Oh, Melvin, Melvin. <laughs> Melvin, go ahead. <laughs> Melvin, are you there? Sorry. Okay, <laughs> lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Noxor. All managers are required to dress in at professional professionally at mm. all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late and on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same wash washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing. Okay, very good. Very good pronunciation. Very good. Now, these are examples, according to the book, according to your book, about a great manager. Do you agree with those, with those things? Yes. Yes? yes. All of them are perfect? It will be the, the mm -hmm. right thing to do in a manager. That will be the right thing to do as a manager. So if you are a manager, are you going to work on weekends? Probably. Probably? Yes, it's healthy, teacher. It's healthy to work on work, weekends. Work with your employees, yes. Okay. All the time. No, no but not only uh, ask mm -hmm. for it. Okay. Uh, show with the example, I don't know. Okay, to show with the example, okay. Yes, Alan? Uh, but if necessary work on weekend and late night, mm -hmm. you need to be with your employees working, working outside, you know? Okay. What if they are not working on weekends and you want to make them work, is that good? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, yes. probably not. Yes. I think it's not good. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say respetar el horario? How do you no. say no respetar el, el horario? You need to respect the schedule. Yes, I, I think it's not good. It's not good to work all the time. But, okay. But, yes. but I think uh -huh. that you can. If, sometimes if you, okay but sometimes, no but, every but if, but if you receive more money probably ah. you, uh, okay that's about the no money no good <laughs> ah it's not good right <laughs> okay okay. okay so what do you think what else should a good manager have what else sulma carla ellington what else raul when uh, he or she give the example. Mm, okay. Okay, when she or he give an example. Okay, very good. What else? 
Here is a Wait. guy. Guy, the guy. Hmm? How do you say guia? How do you say guia? It's, it's, it's a leader. It's a leader. It's a leader. It's a leader. Okay, very good. Sulma and Maria, you're connected. Very good. What else is a good manager for you? What is a good manager? Carla Gabriel. When he's a good leader and he's a good ideas. Oh, someone that gives good ideas for the team. Very good. Okay. Someone who gives good ideas. Very good. Oh, okay. It gives, it builds a relationship with you. Someone. Okay, someone who builds a relationship with you. Very good. Okay, what else? What else? What's another example of a good manager? Osmin, Jose, Edwin, Ellington, Melvin? Uh -huh. For you, who is a good manager? Someone who gives good ideas, someone who respects my schedule, someone who works with me, you know, next to me. What else? I don't have any excuse. Okay. Someone who does not have any excuse. Okay, very good. What else? One more. Teacher, someone to like to listen their employees. Okay, very good. Someone who listens to their employees. Okay, very good. Someone who listens to their employees. Very good. Nice. So you see, you have been talking like for 20 minutes already, right? This time you have spoken a lot, a lot of English. Very good. So now let's share, let's share the information here. We have a statements that are true or false based on the reading. So what is the answer for this? We're going to read again, right? The whole article and we're going to decide, for example, it is more important to manage systems than people. What do you think this? According to the to these paragraphs and to the information, what do you think? Jose Rene, put mute. It is more important to manage systems than people. Is that true or false? It's false. It's false. Very good. Where where it says that? In paragraph number? One, two, three, one. Very good. One. In paragraph number one. Very good. Now we are going to share this exercise for true and false. It's on the same page, right? No, it's on the next page. Next page after the article. Go to your book, please. Go to your book. And open your book in, on page 17, I think. 17, right? And we are going to find this exercise. Yes. Okay, very good. Now we're going to answer this, but we're going to answer with other people. Sorry. We're going to change right now. And we're going to answer true, false, true, false, and we're going to compare. Let's start. Let's start. We are going to work with different people. So click on join, join, select your group. Very good. Select, select, select your group. This is going to take like three minutes. Very good. Very good. Let's go. Alan Javier. Three. Three. 
The number three is uh, in order to be technical professional. Giving one opinion uh, is enough. Pause. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is no is sufficient. I think it's false. Are Number you sure? Two. No, because you would for many methods or no? Yeah. Okay. Um, Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you anytime what do you think about a number three? Uh for me it's um Uh, how, how do you say in Spanish? No. No, suficient. No? Mm -hmm. Creo, I think. The word no means no. suficient, teacher. Which one? Yes. Enough. Or enough. Enough is like, yes, that's good. Suficient, yes. yes. True. Okay. For, for, for me, it's false because for the technical opinions, is no, it's sufficient. <laughs> it's not sufficient. It's not, not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Not enough. What do you need enough. to be technically proficient? What do you need? What else do you need? The basic. Huh? The basics. Only, only, only the basic. The basic for what? Uh, for uh, to do the thing. To do the things where? In the work. In the work. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. You see, you know the answer. Very good. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Okay. Keep working. Okay. Keep working. Let's see, let's go here. I, I, I am watching on the telephone. Me too. <laughs> Hi, 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 Hello. Hi, Miss. How are Hello. you? Hello. Nice Good. to see you. Me yeah, too. He, he is he abandoned now. Why? <laughs> In the other group. Yeah, because I, I have been in other groups. Yes. I feel alone. Why? I feel alone. Hello. <laughs> Hello, René. Hello. Aquí buscando un lapicero, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Do you have questions? No. Uh, no. No. Are no. you sure? Only, only true and false, right? Only true and primera, false. La primera, la primera era. False. Yeah, uh, false. The first one is false. The first one false. is false. The first one is false. Okay. Very good. And the what about number two? The second two. one is? We think it's, it's true, true. It's true. Are you sure? Yes. To be a great communicator. Are you sure? Use as many tools as possible. To be a great communicator. One one should use as many tools as possible. Mm. Are you sure? It's, yes, I'm sure. Wait. Yes, it's true. Communicator. Yes. Uh, wait. Yeah. Think, using yeah. all methods, including visual presentation. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. You're correct. Very good. Hey. I just ah, need to. You're trying. To make, <laughs> to make to make those. Doubt. Exactly. Yes. That's my job. So you can explain. 
Is he mm. say, ah, yes, it's to use methods and blah, blah, blah. And there you start talking. Very good. Paragraph number. <laughs> I cannot tell you yes, no, and that's it. No, I need to make you think, you know? Very good. <laughs> Very good. So the third is false. It's false. False. False, right? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, in order to be technically profis, proficient, 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 okay, proficient. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's option is enough. False. Mm -hmm. Giving yeah. one's opinions, I think it says one's opinions, right? Uh, one. mm -hmm. Ah, see, sí, opinion. Ah, see. Sí. Uh -huh. Yes. That's yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Spanglish. It's Spanglish. We are. So this is Spanglish. Okay. Um, encouraging. Encouraging. <clears throat> encouraging. Okay. Encouraging. I will need. To, okay. I will leave you alone for a minute. Okay. See you in a moment. Uh, <laughs> see you. See you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Encouraging teamwork. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, I believe I so. I like that answer. Very good, Juan Francisco. I believe so. Thank you. That's another way to say, yeah, I think so. Very good. What's the answer for number one? Well, are you sure? Yeah. A hundred percent sure? Yeah. Yes? Why? Because the people is more important than system. Very good. Very good. You need to explain why, right? Very good. What's the answer for number two? It's true. It's true. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? Uh, because a good communicator uh, could be use many tools as possible. Mm -hmm. Many tools as possible. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now read number one again. Number one says it is more important to manage systems than people. So is it true or false? Uh, the manager is more important to people. Okay, are you sure? It is more important to manage systems. System is like computers, like... Um, for example, the tools. What is more important to manage this, the computers or the people? The people. The people. Okay, so what is the answer? True or false? True. The most important system. False. It's false. Very good. It's false. Because in number one, remember that Corina said that you need to manage people, right? Mm -hmm. You need to be a people person, right? Not manage computers only. And you need to mm -hmm. talk to people, right? Okay, very good. Let's go right now to the whole group so we share the answers. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello. Let's see, let's share the information. Rene, put your camera on, please. I am here again. Okay. okay. Okay, now let's share right now the information that we have.
for the, well, the answers. And let's see, okay? Where is it? Here it is. Now, what is number one? Veronica Herrera? False. Huh? False. Why? Because I think that people is a far very important. Okay, it's okay. People are more important than system. Money, your system. Very good. So in this case, this will be false. To be white. Yeah. Is that correct, everyone? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, okay. You agree? Okay, very good. What about number two, Juan Francisco? What do you think? Um, I have a true. You have this as true. True. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. Is that is is that correct, everyone? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Sure. Yes. Okay. Many tools. Why is why is sure this is true? Uh, is there? The paragraph, say, mm -hmm. the paragraph say the paragraph say is the management will be used uh, all the method and uh, they say using uh, teleconference uh, public speech and email okay face to face face to face communication okay very good what about mm -hmm. number three maybe in order to be it's false. It's false. False. Yes. Why? Let me see the uh, article. Because mm -hmm. the in order to be technically proficient, <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, not is enough. Only give uh, the give the our opinion. Okay. Because um, um, well, we should be, uh, I don't know, be able to to take or give uh, technical guides. Technical guides. Okay. Guides. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with Melby? Everyone. Do you agree with Melby? No? Yes, I am agree with Melvin. Okay, you agree with Melvin. Very good. Only Edwin and Melvin. Then the other ones have true. No. Yes. No. no. Oh, you agree. Wow. Okay. Very My good. Mute. My mic was mute. Okay, very good. What about number four? Uh, let's see here. Maria de Jesus. Are you here? Are yes. You here? Is yes, I what I is the answer for number four, Maria? Is encouraging teamwork is an is as important as the paying part of the team is true. True. Are you sure? Yes. Very sure. Yes. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay. Why? Yes. I let me see. In paragraph number four. Uh huh. Say and uh, let me see. Uh, not only are you required to encourage the best practice for building teamwork. You are considered is this? Uh -huh. Very part good. A part of the team. You need to be a part of the team. Very good. L listen, listen, everyone, listen to what Maria said. She said, according to paragraph number four, right? So it gives you evidence, right? It gives you more information and you have like backup, you have support. Right? When you say according to paragraph number four, right? Very good. What about answer for number five? If you are a manager, 
You can skip extra work and have weekends off. Maria, thank you very much. <laughs> if, what about number five? Let's see here, number five. My friend, my friend Sulma. What do you think, Sulma? False. It's false. false. Why? Because when when I am a manager, never can skip. Um, when when we when someone near me, I I have to do the work is necessary. Okay. You need to do the work that is necessary for the company. Okay, very good. So these are the answers. Do you have the same answers, everyone? Yes. Yes? yes? Very good job, very good job. So today we analyze and we read, right? We, we not just, you know, we just read whatever, read the whole paragraph, but you are able to explain, right? You see, you explain the paragraph and you have understood the paragraph. Right, which is different. A veces solo leemos and that's it. No, we read and then we analyze the information in the paragraph. Right now, you know what the good manager is, right? And you listen to your classmates right? and you understood the information. Very good. Understood. Very good. Give an applause. Okay. Understood is comprehend, to know, right? Very good. Entender. Right? Understood. understood? Is under understand right exactly very good understood is the past tense of understand very good now because i have i have problems with past tense me too no i'm kidding <laughs> everyone has problems right. with with uh past tense so don't worry but we're going to practice yes. with past tense okay very good then job this is the past and yes. past possible <laughs> Oh, past participle is worse. No, past participle is easy, right? Yes, past participle is a regular verb. Yes, regular verbs are difficult, but with the pronunciation, right? No, it's easy. It's, it's easy. Is is mm. past tense. Are you sure? Yes, that's <laughs> my problem. That's mm. your problem. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. We're going to practice. Right. Okay. Now, let's see. Ellington, can you please put your camera on? Thank you. <coughs> now, yes? Yes, you, yesterday you promised us to help us uh, in the homework too. Mm -hmm. To help, in, you can help us to do the homework and the platform too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the homework number two, they are still working on that, right? So I will let them know today, you know, to hurry and, uh, you know, to fix homework number two, okay? Porque todo le salió mal, right? So, yes, todos tienen diez, so far. <laughs> okay, but I will let them know because for tomorrow, I want to have this uh, at least by noon, right? Once we eat lunch. Right now, we're going to do one more activity. We have five minutes, but this activity is going to be done in the platform. Okay, can you see my computer? Yes, yes, this is the last activity. Yes. This last activity is going to be in the platform. Uh, Veronica, can you read the information on the slide? Okay, write a seven line paragraph about you, about your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and other job. Use time expressions. Use time expressions, very good. So what you're going to do this time, right, as the last activity, is that you will write a seven line paragraph about your work experience. Personal information, such as studies, experience, another job, and you're going to use time expressions. 
Now, for me to know that you were you are going to complete this activity, right? You need to go, right? Give me one second. You need to go here and you need to go to our website. You need to go to English Corporativo, okay? Now, give me one second. Give me here. Give me one moment here. Hey, look at those. The what? <laughs> a duck. A duck, okay. <laughs> What you're going to do is that your paragraph, right, about you, that's gonna be the last, uh, you know, forum that we're going to do for this week. Right? It's very important that you complete the forum, so you need to go here, right? And after you finish, tomorrow you will see. Do you see Mr. Science? Yes? Yes. Please, Mr. Science. Okay. Yeah. In here, you will have one forum that says, how do you describe your job? What are the benefits that you give to the company? But besides that, because I, I need to know that you know how to write. What are the benefits that you give to the company? That you give to your company. That is actually something that Maria Jesus already answered. This is going to be there, but also, also, I'm going to write here, right, another post. And you have to write your paragraphs here, okay? So here we're going to say, write your paragraph about, oh, sorry, about your work experience. So everyone yeah. is going to write their paragraphs there. Right, so I need to see body cam. Okay, the same. Right, you will write here the information of your paragraph. Your seven line paragraph is going to be here. Okay, you're going to put your information there because I need to know if you know about your work experience and you need to use time expressions. Is that right, Esther? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Do you have a question about this paragraph that you're going to write? No, it's no? clear. It's going to be for tomorrow. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay. Have you completed all the activities in your in, in the platform? Raul? Exercise two. Yeah. Mm. Yes? A saber que me preguntó, yo voy a decir yes. The other activity. Yes, I feel. Okay, very good. You need to complete the activities. I'm going to switch to Spanish. Es importante que todos para mañana tengan todas las actividades completas. Y todos aparece que, quienes han trabajado o no en la actividad número dos, que es la que nos está saliendo mal. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, okay. ¿Alguien tuvo algún problema con la actividad 3 o 4? No, ¿verdad? No da ningún problema. ¿Ya completaron todos los foros? No. 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 Falta la 4 y la, y la 5. La 5 ya la estamos terminando. Ya mañana la pueden terminar. Les voy a dar el, el sábado. No se van a levantar temprano, yo lo sé. Les voy a dar hasta las 5 de la tarde para que lo terminen. ¿Ok? okay? But finish tomorrow. Sí, sí, por favor, también practico Excel. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. So I will give you until tomorrow 5 p.m. for you to finish all the activities, all the homework. De eso incluye José René, aunque haya falta de clase, José René tiene que completar las tareas. Okay? Sí, teacher, estoy pidiendo copia porque eh, por el trabajo no he podido. No le den copia a José René. Por favor. <risa> Están los Nadie. videos. Videos. Te tiraste, Nadie. Ah, te tiraste solito de cabeza. Nadie le vaya a dar copia a José René. Por ya, favor. Te, ya te lo íbamos a dar y ya te tiraste. 
Sí, yo solo okay. me cociné. Sí, hombre. El solito que la haga. Ok, very good. Remember, you need to have an 80 on the homework for you to pass. Right? So try to get 80. Si tiene 70, si tiene 75, vuélvanlo a hacer para mm. tener 80 por lo menos en las actividades. Ok? Practice, Teacher, practice, okay. practice. Okay. Teacher, mm. other week is vacation. Yes. <laughs> Confirmadísimo, la otra semana de vacación. Esa es la última clase, nos vamos a ver hasta el 10 de agosto. ¿Ok? Entonces, ya mañana terminan las actividades, terminan, se olvidan de las clases de inglés y venimos hasta el 10 de agosto. ¿Ok? Ya el lunes no clase. ¿Ah? El lunes no hay clase. El lunes no hay clase. El lunes no hay clase, nos vamos a ver hasta el 10 de agosto. Si se conecta a Zoom, usted solito va a estar ahí. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, las dos horas. Okay. So, guys, do you have any questions? Any It questions? It was a good joke. Any questions? Hello? No. No? Okay, I will see you then, guys. Sería, sería hasta el día 10. Sería hasta el día 10 que nos volvemos a ver. Entonces, Correcto. Ya, ya. Sí. Okay. Hasta el 10. Okay, guys. Yes, Elita. No, mentira. I write a question for the, the work and the platform. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Todo para mañana, Elita. For the confused. No. Hasta las 5. Question mañana for you. Hasta... Ah, for me. Yes. For the yeah. confused and one activity. Other, other, I don't know. Yes, you can write information. I will be I will be checking the information your, tomorrow. Okay? Your, web, your yeah. WhatsApp or on the platform. Yeah. On the platform. On the platform. Okay. Yes, on the para, platform. Para entrar a la plataforma, teacher, eh, he querido ver los videos de las clases que he perdido y no, no, no puedo entrar. Escríbale a Jason Bautista. Él se presentó un día de estos en el chat de ¿Eh? WhatsApp. Ah, Escríbale okay. a él para que le dé acceso. Ya está diciendo que no tiene acceso para no hacer la tarea. ¿no? Gracias. <risa> ah, ya, había, ya me las puedo yo. Ok, guys. Have a beautiful day, uh, night. Enjoy your vacation. See you on August. Yeah, too. See you. Thank you. Me too. Care, take care. Bye. 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 Go to the bye. beach. Don't Enjoy. go. No, I won't. <laughs> no, don't go. Bye. Okay, bye bye. No. Enjoy the Netflix bye. on vacation. Stay at home. <laughs> Stay at home. Yes. Bye. Enjoy Netflix on vacation. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. Have a nice night. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> bye guys. Bye. Bye. Quiero quedarme hasta lo último para ver quién es el último que se va. <laughs> Yo soy la última que me voy porque no se van ustedes. <laughs> <laughs> va a creer. <laughs> Sí. Hay que ir hasta las 11 con ella. <risa> a ver qué a ver qué Contando chistes. Contando chistes. A ver no. qué se pide. It's yeah. very funny, the teacher. <risa> ok, bye bye. What's your question, Carla? Bye bye. Eh, de el video 4, ahí veo que dice que una persona del grupo va a compartir algo. Algo así. Ah, oh. va a ser eso. Entonces, no sé cómo tendríamos que hacer ahí. O, el video 4, permítame, Ajá. quiero ver. Si no, la vamos a cambiar, no se preocupe. <risa> ah, dices, one person from the group is going to share the conversation that you completed during the class. So, for example, you can take a look at this. Uh, Zulma Patricia, my partner was Mayra Noemi. She's from Chalatenango. Ayer hicieron como una, una, una conversación. Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, con esa sí. conversación que hicieron, eso es lo que van a compartir ahí. Mira el ejemplo uh -huh. de Zulma Patricia. En eh, uh -huh. The One for Raúl. En eh, Juan Francisco. Juan Raúl y, y Francisco solo escribieron las preguntas. Zulma escribió la información. So, both, uh -huh. both, yeah, both are okay. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> See you, Carla. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.